Welcome to the Texas State Bobcat Stadium Grand Tour uh, for 2014. I want a chance to take a look, let you guys see a little bit about what I get a chance to walk over each day and see and take you through part of this. If you look right out here to our left, this is a, a part, everybody's honking, that's a good thing. This is a part where everybody tailgates right here on our big games. In 2009, when we opened up this beautiful stadium, I was walking across with one of our seniors on walkover, and he said, Coach, how about this, man? This is unbelievable, and it was lined with tents and bands and cars, and which is something we or hope is going to happen again. But along with that, he said, he goes, Coach, how many season tickets we sold? And I said, you know what? I, the rumor is I think we've sold like 150 season tickets. I thought we'd hit the big time. Uh, but the reality is going into this season, with your help, we're going to be almost at 1,000 this year. So keep coming with me, I'm going to take you through the stadium. This area right here is the area that's reserved now for the opportunity for us to build our new $8 million locker room offices facility for baseball and softball. Uh, it's one of those things that we're, we're proud of the future of what might be coming around the corner for us. It's a big project. Certainly we're going to be reaching out into tons of people to get this thing done. But it's one of those things that gives you an opportunity facility-wise to be an Omaha-type team uh, and certainly for softball the same way. And so we're excited about that. This space is reserved. So at the end of the night, when somebody's ready to write that $8 million check, I'm ready. Come on, keep moving. Definitely one of the hot spots at Texas State Stadium is right here outside our dugout because this is where all the dads stand. Just in case I need a little bit of help or Coach Fee cuts you, Coach Silva needs a little bit of assistance, the majority of the dads love to stick their elbows right here. It also is right in close to the third base umpire, which gives them a chance to communicate with everybody that's necessary uh, in the outcome of a baseball game. Next stop here on the stadium tour is Section D. Some of the longest standing season ticket holders we have are here in Section D. When you come up down here, you'll look. It's been the same crowd for probably the last three or four years, and, and certainly some of our more famous season ticket holders. It also houses the Harrington family, which is a chore for everybody around with all the kids running back and forth and going everywhere. And I'm sure with the Silva's new addition of their baby DJ, there'll be a lot more activity going on, certainly uh, in Section D. This is a press box. This is uh, where all the energy, the music, and everything that goes on, our cool video board, and everything that goes on throughout the games. and. It keeps high energy in here, which we've been told by several other teams that this is one of the most high energy places to come watch a baseball game. Not along with the crowd, that's that too, but the energy's good. It's kind of new and fresh and, and a lot of fun. It's a cool spot. It's actually only the second time I've been up here. This is the Gumby's Pizza and Wings K Zone. What does that mean? It means when one of our pitchers strikes out a guy, which I like for them to do often. The Diamond Sweetheart, the most famous uh, organization on campus, comes up here, hangs up a K Zone strikeout up here, and uh Kind of adds a little energy and, and uh, kind of a cool place to watch a game from. If you look out from here, uh, it's right above our dugout, and uh, we like to hear the stomping of the feet and the loud noise that goes on from this section over here. Now we're really getting serious. We're down into the suites. I'm proud to say all the suites have been sold out since the beginning of the stadium, uh, and this is a really neat spot. If you look out here, you can see it's got a great view uh, of the stadium. It's perfect, absolutely perfect for me because... They can look in and see what's going on. They got these windows, see? They don't open up. These windows right here. So when Greg and Mike Davis, the owner of this suite, figure out that I might not be doing something right and it's not going so well, they're hollering and screaming up here. I, I can't hear them. So it works out great. The vision of it is great. The picture is great. And the audio is even better. When you look over here, it's always been a mystery to me. Why everybody's walking around with these red solo cups or these styrofoam cups when they're up here. Now I'm beginning to wonder, now I'm beginning to, I think, figure all this out when you start to look around at all the things that are going on up here in the Davis Suite. All right, here we go. Now we're heading into another, one of the most intriguing areas of Texas State baseball, and that's the caboose. The history behind this is that one of my assistant athletic directors, Derek Grice, one day after a game we were playing, I was he was standing down there on the fence, and I walked up to him, and he said, hey, what do you think about... I was putting a, a, a caboose right over there for, for people to have to watch the game from. And I was like, uh, what? And uh, so we got to looking into it and, and some pictures. There was only one guy I knew who would, could pull this off. And so I threw it at my good buddy Jim West, or a.k.a. J.W., and, uh, and said, what do you think? And uh, so this is what we have. We're going to go inside and take a tour of it. All right, here we go. We're inside the caboose. As you walk in, you can start to see it's tons of Texas State stuff. There's a built-in bar area for people to sit inside, a lounge area for everybody to kind of chill and hang out. There's TV set up in here. 
some really famous memorabilia with with Goldie and and Clemens, and then I don't remember this guy right here. Is that Fikac? Oh yeah, no, it's Fikac, Scott Linebrink, and some other guys. And and uh, you'll look over one of JW's good buddies is is uh, Toby Keith, and you can see he's got his red solo uh, red solo cup uh, uh, picture up here too. All of this again. It's always crazy to me, and I look over in the middle of a game, and everybody's got red Solo cups or Styrofoam cups around here. I can't seem to figure out what's going on over here. This is where it happens. This is one of the cool spots. As you can see, when they put this in, it was had a lot of strategy behind it. Guys like Big Mike and DC can stand right over here, and the whole Kappa Sig fraternity, it seems to come over here. And they can stand right here with the elbows, right here where they're strategizing with the opposing coaches the first base coach, the first base umpire, and they have access to the home plate umpire. So they have more access to everybody that's important in this game and helping the Texas State Bobcats win. And then last but not least, this seat, one of the most important seats in the whole uh, caboose area. Here's the reason why. Jim West is famous for believing in that I need assistance during the game. So he sits right here, and as you look right over my shoulder, looks right into the dugout in there where I sit. And what's amazing about it is, is JW's favorite play is a bases loaded squeeze play with one out. So every time we load the bases at Texas State with one out, you can look over here and Jim's kind of got like this going on right here, but he's pointed right over there at me. And if I don't do it, then I get the old, what are you doing? And so, or if we don't drive him in, I get, I told you so. But anyways, you can look right out here. It's one of the greatest views in college baseball. And last but not least, is my seat. It's right here on this bench right here with my other assistant coaches. And one of the greatest things about this seat right here is as I sit here, I've had an opportunity to watch some of the greatest players in the history of college baseball and certainly here at Texas State. It's been a pleasure to sit in this seat and watch teams win championships and do a lot of great things. It's been even more fun for me to stand out here and watch how our crowds have grown. Uh, we're at capacity of having 3,000 on opening day, uh, 1,000 season tickets. It's a lot of unbelievable things that are going on here. Our fans have bought in, the, the city of San Marcos. It's a great place. It's a cool spot to watch a game. I hope you come sit with me and watch some more games here at Texas State.